Hey guys, welcome back. Today we discuss The Last of Us. If you've been watching my reviews of The Last of Us television series with Az on his channel, Heels vs. Babyface, then you know I'm not a huge fan. However, to this point, my primary complaint has had to do with the changes made to the main characters, Joel and Ellie. From the casting choices to the portrayal of their personalities, they simply are not the characters we know and love from the games. And we know from how the show was marketed that this change is real and intentional because Druckmann said so. In an interview with Polygon, he admits that TV show Joel is intentionally less capable and more frail. It's why Pablo Pascal was cast in the first place, among other reasons. Because these characters are meant to be Joel and Ellie, but in name only. That in and of itself was departure enough for me, but we knew there would be more and far more drastic deviations to come. And boy oh boy, did the show drop the ball in episode three with the introduction of Bill and Frank. In the game, we learned these two men had a romantic relationship, but their orientation wasn't central to their characters' identities or experiences in this world. Though not fully explored, we were given just enough to imagine how their relationship was. The ups and downs of any relationship exacerbated by the trauma of survival, isolated in a post-apocalyptic world, conflict and drama that greatly shaped the characters we came to know as Bill and Frank. What happened to them was obviously important to who Bill became in the game and would have been interesting to explore in the show, but instead of the meaningful and relatable backstory we deserve, we were served a shallow, superficial, tokenized one where this couple in their existence was never in furtherance of the story, but rather in furtherance of an agenda and even more obviously, aimed at securing an award nod for the actors. And this isn't something fans who take issue with it are just making up. In a recent interview with director Peter Hoare, this decision to center their existence around being gay was all designed to trick the audience, quote unquote, into accepting a gay love story. Are you kidding me? What a way to patronize your audience and fans of the game who loved Bill for who he was. This virtue signal of something that was literally not an issue for anyone stripped away from Bill and Frank their humanity, their pain and suffering, the very things that made them human and made their love story a caricature of the real thing. And for what? Promotion? The message? A pretend moral superiority and an opportunity to preach to a fandom that could in fact care less about their being gay? Episode 3 wasn't a triumph. It didn't bring me to tears. It wasn't anything to applaud. It was a wasted opportunity that stands as an insult to the characters and the community they represent, as well as the game and the fans who made it popular in the first place. Now, I do have to say, the production value of the show is classic HBO. The cinematography, set, sound design are fantastic. The costumes and makeup and prosthetics are great. I do enjoy the elements of the story that are beat for beat from the games. I can even understand why people enjoyed episodes one and two, but when judging a show, you can't simply credit the bare minimum as it relates to world building. More weight should be placed on what is done to the characters, especially when they are as beloved as they are in The Last of Us. And what was done here wasn't stunning and it wasn't brave. It was a character assassination. That's the only way it can be described. But hey, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.